Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Trophynut the Babbling Belgian and welcome back to Destiny 2 Adventure Time for the final time because we're up to our last adventure right here on IO. Um, we're uh, heading into it straight away, so let's check out Glyphhanger, which is actually appropriately named. Asher has information about the Vex's next conversion site and he wants it stopped. Assistant, is that you? Vex energy readings are off the charts. Go find out what's happening and be quick about it. Be quick about it? Where is it? Somewhere over there, so was, I was standing in the right direction. Seems like we're heading into this foresty area. And when I say forest, I mean cave, obviously. This is not the place where you should take your sparrow. Oh, never mind, it's kind of a forest. It's a forest cave. This is lovely. Let's go over here. There's weird noises coming from Asher, that thing. Vex protecting some kind of construct. It's pumping energy into the ground. I'm not gonna disrupt that. Oh, hi. Tecton! Hello, Tecton! Oh, God. Why is it... Oh, God, this thing is actually a lot more powerful than I anticipated. I thought, right, the first enemy of the side quest is not gonna be much. Never mind, I'm just gonna take a bit of distance. Pick up this face glass along the way. Wait. What's it doing? Oh god! I can teleport. Oh, and it's immune. Never mind. Okay, so those guys exploded. That guy as well. Die, 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 Minotaur. Oh, we teleported again. I should have probably stopped that ritual while it was going. Kind of seems like I'm uh, in a bit more trouble now. Die. Okay, there we go. Okay, those guys keep spawning. Oh god, yeah, he, he caught my grenade, but he killed, they did kill the Minotaur. Okay. Everything died. Except for Ash, that guy. We found a construct injecting something into the ground, but a Vex mine showed up and took it. The mine took it? Yep, just swoop, took it. <laughs> We're tracking it now. <laughs> Oh, wait, we're going back outside. This is, yeah, we're turning back. I hypothesize that the Vex are preparing to fully machinoform this moon. <laughs> like you do. Ah, yes, laugh it off. The Vex are simply planning to transform every planet in the system into a cog and a vast, inscrutable machine. They merely wish to convert every particle of matter on this moon, living or dead, into a radiolarian solid. Well, when you put it that way. Oh, hi. You're here, too. I, I just accidentally started walking up the tree, but... Hunt Tecton. Well, if he's over there, shouldn't I be able to see him from here? Ow. Well, fuck you, too. Oh, wait, isn't that... No, it's a Storm Hydra. Which sadly looks exactly like the guy I'm currently hunting. Ow. That was fun. Thanks for the boost. What is that? Oh, probably what we're looking for. Give me a second. Kind of looks like what I'm looking for, but let's shoot it. Doesn't do anything. So let's head into that cave then. Oh god, that was a bad idea. That was a bad, that was a bad. Oh god. Oh god. Oh. Oh. Um. But that, that's a happy accident. Uh, swoosh! Okay. Well, that's interesting. Oh, wow. Okay. 
This is more than a little side quest. It's good for being for being the, the last one. Some kind of sink plate. How curious. See if you can establish a connection with the Vex Collective. I've this designed is... a virus which might prove useful. I've never been this close to oh, the crater virus. before. Huh. I hope you know what you're doing. I mean, it's not much to look at because the textures from here look ridiculously bad, but let's get into it. Oh, that's a public event starting. Holy crap, that was scary. Although this might be scary as well. So, uh, connecting. Oh, oh, that's not good. Um, I'm in a cage. Oh no, there's something. Oh, hi. Uh, I, I didn't invite you guys. Gatekeeper Minotaur. Haven't seen a gate yet, but I believe you. Also, I need to defend the connection. Should have just said that. It's, well, it's gonna be easy if every spawn is just a bunch of exploding enemies. Must say, it's very soothing with that music in the background. Feels like therapeutic killing of uh, murderous alien robots. Like really tearing them up. The shreds. Let's just finish this off like this. Is that enough? No, definitely not enough. There's a bit of ammo here, so I might as well pick that up. And, oh yeah, that's not, that's not exactly who I wanted to take with that, but... Oh, what the hell is going on? It's exploding. Wait, that sounded like another ah. platform appearing. Establish the link into the collective. But I can't deploy the virus. A Vex mind is blocking deeper access. Oh, probably the one that swooped the construct. We'll find it. He's going strong with that swooping. Um, okay. Jump! Whee! Yep. Okay, guess it wants me to go this way. Oh, damn it. Up oh, my nose. No big deal. Wow, it is it is creating platforms. That that is something. Ooh, look, the thing I was looking at. Oh hi. No 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 no. I want to get my sniper rifle on that thing. Boom! Boom! Oh god, I need... Wait, that was the perfect opportunity to reload. Wait, are there two guardians trying to get to me? No. They're just... They're just over there. Oh yeah, now they're spawning. Now they're spawning. This is cool. This is kind of a complete... This is one of the coolest boss fights in the side quests. Especially the location, which is very nice. And it is one of the first bosses on the in the adventure that actually has a, a really big health bar for some reason. If not to say the only guy with such a big health bar. And I'm not bragging about his health bar. Okay. Ah, that was... That was a mess. That's a weird noise. According to the collective, the mind is summoning some sort of pestilent defense. Oh god. No. There goes one. Gonna have to waste my snapper raffle bullets on those guys. And oh. God damn it. Yeah. His eye was gone. Damn it. Yeah, so I can fire at him again. Just gonna be one fanatic on each side. Yeah, there we go. Did they drop ammo? Okay, I don't really care at the moment. Okay, final third. And I don't mean that derogatory. Almost down. I just need to take care of the harpies again. 
Because those things are a real pain in the ass. There we go. It feels like those spawns are timed, so if I can quickly finish this, like right now, for example, I'm just not hitting it. Or that, that would be the perfect ending. One well placed hammer. Yeah, there we go. Whew! Oh, what? We destroyed the mine dasher. Yes, yes. Now return Preventative to the hammer. Will effects reconfigure their thought protocols. Those platforms are about to disappear. Oh, that's not good. There we go. Oh wow, that's. Yep. Woo! That was a cool final adventure. I just lost access to the collective. Nonetheless, I did Whew. manage to release the virus. I imagine the Vex will find this development rather upsetting. <laughs> that doesn't sound ominous. Indeed. We shall allow this experiment to unfold in its own time. I'm guessing it's not going to do much, but uh, there we go. Adventure complete. The end of Destiny 2 Adventure Time. Well, for now at least. Um, I'm Probably not going to continue this series anytime soon. Uh, it wasn't the most popular of series, but uh, I think that might have something to do with the uh, decline in attention for this game as well. Um, I am aware of the issues this game has, and we're going to go into uh, it deeper. If you want to have that discussion, please do in the comment section and I'll join in over there. But uh, I just want to keep it to this series because I really, really like the adventures. I did... I think maybe not even 10% of those on my original uh, time with this game, but this this was a, a nice excuse to go through all of them, because there were a few very nice highlights, especially a few episodes ago, the one with the uh, the machine music, that was a really cool one, and this one was also very, very nicely done. So I'm, uh, I'm really glad that I've done these, because together they actually might make up a nice portion of the content in Destiny 2, which also means that yeah, it kind of adds to the uh, argument that there actually was enough content in Destiny 2 to begin with. Even with the uh, the lacking endgame, I do I do feel like there was enough content. Especially if you can compare it to uh, Destiny 1. It's, uh, it has has a lot to do. And uh, yeah, I, I still really like the game, even though with all its flaws. Um, but yeah, that's it for this series. Hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. Uh, our little little tour through all the planets that Destiny 2 has uh, available for us and then every single adventure in it. Yeah, I really like my time. I really like my time on these planets. So hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks enormously for watching. And uh, again, thanks for the support. And I hope to see you guys in the next series. Goodbye. Goodbye.